Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at you with another video. Let's check this out. We got ourselves a couple of cigars. And got me some... Admiral Nelson Cherry Spiced Rum. And this right here is the biggest bottle of Cherry Spiced Rum I could find. And it cost about roughly 16 some odd dollars, which isn't bad considering it's shatterproof. And you drink enough of this, you'll be feeling pretty good. I also went and got some uh, guitar strings as the high E string on my BC Rich Warlock has snapped and well, it, it needs to be replaced. So, open these up. Oh, fuck. I dropped one, but that's okay. It's still in the protective covering. All right. This right here is an upsetter. I've had an upsetter. They're pretty good. Because I've already had this kind before, I want to set this one aside for later. But one particular cigar I have not tried is the, uh, let's see, crack this open, just like that. Boom. This right here is a uh, delicioso honey robusto. Mm. Oh, hold on. A yep, that's honey flavored. All right. I smell it, and um, it's got that rich cigar smell to it, but I can definitely smell the honey on the after smell. Mm. Delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this cigar. On. We're gonna have ourselves a little bit to drink and have a nice fine cigar to puff on. Very gently cut the cap off of this. There we go. Oh, oh, YouTube. Holy shit. I think I'm going to enjoy this cigar. I took a dry puff off of it. Mm, yeah. And that dry puff, that dry puff tastes just like natural honey. Mm. Again, this is a, um, a delicioso honey Robusto. And, um, it smells good. Like, literally, it smells like honey. It's awesome. It tastes good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's fire this bitch up.
There we go, a nice even light. A nice cut and a nice even light off the bat. In fact, hold on a second, YouTube. I want to do something here. Yeah, I'll do it later. I was going to do a Facebook Live video, but I can do it later. Well, that was smooth. Just dropped my Zippo, but that's all right. Boom. Look at that. We got a nice even light all the way around. I'm liking that. Oh, now Deliciosos also have a black cherry Robusto, and Robusto refers to the size of the cigar. This is a Robusto-sized cigar, and I've had the black cherry Deliciosos. They're delicious. Never had the honey flavor before until today, and I gotta say, honey deliciosos they're pretty good mm. there's a very mild delicious honey taste with this cigar mmm that's a good cigar. I'm, I'm digging it. Now that's a cigar. Hey, you guys. You guys. Second. Be very careful when you're doing this. But I'm gonna, there we go. Poke a hole in the back of this just like that. All right. There we go. Look at that ash. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's as tasty as the black cherry version, but it's still pretty good. I'm gonna crack a window, hold on a second. Smoking a fat cigar in my apartment. Might as well crack that window wide open. Took a little bit more off the back, but not too much more. Hold on a second.
There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. I made the hole in the back of my cigar just a little bit, just a little bit more bigger. And um, yeah. There we go. That's better. Oh yeah. After making the hole on my cap just a little bit bigger, that honey taste is coming through very, very nicely. I mean, I don't wanna cut too much off my cap here, but just enough to, uh... yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Just about. Just about there. Boom. I have to loosen this cigar up just a little bit. Getting kind of hard to draw on. There we go. There we go. Now sometimes your cigar gets a little loose. I mean, excuse me. Sometimes your cigar gets to be too tight on the draw, so what you do is you very lightly squeeze, very lightly pinch and squeeze. See, I'm not going very hard. Just light enough to kind of go like that. And um, it loosens it up just a bit. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, I see that. Fucking hate when cigars do this shit. This is why you gotta be careful when you're loosening, loosening them up. Uh. No, 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 Stop with this nonsense. There we go. Oh, well, at least it's not falling apart completely. I mean, a little bit off the top isn't going to hurt. Mmm. That honey flavor, though. That honey flavor is delicious. Hey, you guys. All right. So, I have some guitar strings. And what am I going to do with these guitar strings? Well, you'll see. You'll see. Hold on a second.
Yeah. Let's see here. Looks like this is the string we need right here. So what I want to do now is I want to set these aside. I'll throw this trash away. I will say this, YouTube, out of all the BC Rich Warlocks that I have owned in the past, this one right here is quite easily the easiest one to restring. I mean, the way that's set up, very, very nice. So, uh, take this string and we're going to restring it. I'm going to scooch back a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This little string bit goes in last. Be careful restringing your guitar because if you got little string chunks, if you got chunks of string hanging out on your sh on your tuner pegs, the little bits that poke out, yeah. I'm gonna restring my guitar with that missing string real quick.
All right, so now what have we got the string in there? We can uh, tune it real quick. Look at that, it's tuned perfectly. I wanted to stick the rest of my strings in my guitar case, in my acoustic guitar case. Throw the empty string pack away and we'll be right back. This next part is totally 100% optional, but a lot of guitarists will do it right after they change and put a fresh string in. Like, hold on, let me grab my guitar. Now you notice that when you put a new string in, look at that right there, this long ass extra bit of string that hangs off the end. Um, some guitarists, YouTube, will trim the string up, and right here at the bit, some of them leave it on there, really just a matter of personal preference. But whenever I put a brand new string on my guitar, I like to, uh, take these pliers and, um, trim the end up here so it, uh, looks more professional in my opinion. Let's see. There we go. Trim that string bit up. And then when you're done cutting your excess string off, and you see right here, there's just a little bit sticking out right here, but that's fine. Um, ugh, hold on a second, I heard something hit the floor. There we go. Make sure your tools are put away. There we go. Also, make sure your string bits get thrown away. Because uh, these things... These string bits can stab you in the foot. So don't 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 leave them on the floor. Pick them up. Yeah, cuz getting stabbed by a guitar string doesn't feel too good. Just just saying.
Mmm, cigar smells good. Yeah. Hmm. Thinking about doing some down tuning. <coughs> oh, God damn it. Oh. buddy smoking a cigar playing some guitar hey you guys you guys smoking a cigar playing some guitar
Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. I'm going to set this puppy down in my ashtray for a second. Just like that. And whenever you set your cigar down in the ashtray, you set it on top of the ash. So that way it puts itself out. <laughs>
yeah. That's how you shred some mean ass guitar. Take a moment from the guitar just for a second to, uh, how should I put this delicately? Have a drink. Look what I have, YouTube. Admiral Nelson's Cherry Spiced Rum. I could drink it out of the bottle straight, but... Let's have just a bit more class than that. I mean, nothing wrong with drinking straight out of the bottle, but, you know. Hold on a second. I gotta pee. Hold on a second, YouTube. God damn it. I tried to go to the bathroom before I start my fucking videos and then... That's better. All right, got me a eight ball glass. We're gonna fill it up with some of this Admiral Nelson cherry spiced rum. Oh yeah. Wow, rum and cigars. Look at this guy over here. Hashtag fresh bottle. Oh yeah. That smells way, that smells just like cherry, dude, like straight up. <sighs> there we go. There we go, YouTube. Turn the amp off for a second. 
I mean, if I'm not playing the guitar right now, there's no sense in having the guitar amp on. It saves on electricity. Anyway, I'd like to raise a glass to Malcolm Young. May ACDC's music live on, and of course, may he rest in peace. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, here comes the burn. Yeah. I, I got a lot of negative comments on my uh, Rest in Peace Malcolm Young video. People were being very disrespectful to me and Malcolm Young on my video. They're like, no offense, but you come off as a wannabe ACDC fan. It's so disrespectful to Malcolm Young. So I deleted the comment and blocked the person from my channel. And they're like, name at least six. They're like, name at least five songs. Okay. Back in Black, TNT, Have a Drink on Me, Shook Me All Night Long, Hell's Bells, Whole Lotta Rosie, Jailbreak 74. Uh, did I say Back in Black? Yes, I did. Rocker Bust. Um, there's eight off the top of my head. You know, that's just the thing of it is I've been singing ACDC songs on YouTube for a number of years now. Like, no bullshit, I've been singing ACDC songs on YouTube for a number of years now. And on top of that, on top of that, my dad listened to ACDC, and still does. So, I grew up listening to it, you know. So, if anyone's being disrespectful as these assholes talking shit... When a fellow guitarist passes away like that, especially one of the great guitarists, you know what I'm saying? It just, I feel it, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a guitarist, I feel it. Okay, I may not be the biggest ACDC fan out there, but I'm still a fan of ACDC, and I try to make a video out of respect you know what I'm saying? Just to have a bunch of assholes talk shit on YouTube. This other person commented too. He's like, man, you, you used to be one of my favorite YouTubers. Now you're just going downhill. I'm like, how the fuck am I going downhill when I have 6,000 plus subscribers? In fact, let's go to my channel right now. Holy shit. 6,200 subscribers. Yeah, I'm going downhill, all right. Hint of sarcasm. 6,200 subscribers. I do apologize for making my last Pipe Thoughts video sideways. I wasn't trying to, mind you. It just happens, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I also want to raise a glass to my continuing subscription count. Here's to my subscriber count growing. 6,200 subscribers, that's what's up. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I mean, as far as burn goes, this stuff's pretty mild. Like, it's tasty liquor, and it doesn't burn too bad going down. It's actually quite smooth. It burns a little bit coming back up after you swallowed it, but it's doable, you know. If I had headphones, I would do some ACDC vocal covers. I don't have any headphones, so I can't just openly sing ACDC on YouTube with them playing alongside because I would get copyright infringement. Hmm.
How long is this video? 49 minutes? It's not bad. And then, of course, another comment I got on that video. You know, when I made that video, YouTube, I made the point of saying a couple things that were on my mind, you know. And um, one of the things I said that was on my mind at the time was, you know, the unfortunate thing is that I'm going to see all my favorite musicians go before I do. That's just a uh, unfortunate fact of reality. All the musicians I look up to are going to die before I do. You know? And that's just, you know, something that I have to prepare myself for. And, um... One person commented, they're like, oh, don't worry, Josh, there's still hope that you'll die before your favorite musicians. Fuck you. It's bad enough that I get people talking shit on me on YouTube on a constant basis, but lo and behold, I get assholes in town talking shit on me. Like yesterday when I was walking to work, some random asshole who doesn't even fucking know me starts yelling at me out of his car window, calling me a... F like he's, like, he's all like, you're a faggot, you're gay, you fuck you, you're gay, you're a faggot, I don't care. It just continues going on and on and on. And I had enough of it. So I'm like, that asshole is going to get into a car crash for talking shit. Did I, did I use my dark powers? Yes, I did. Trust and believe I did. And then right as I was about to walk a third of the way to work, I heard the person who was talking shit go, Fuck, I got into a car crash. Literally, I heard somebody say it. The same asshole who was talking shit. I'm just like, you really want to fuck with somebody who knows black magic? You're stupid. I am capable of learning songs on the guitar. However, in my defense, I get easily distracted on the guitar. With shredding and random techniques and all kinds of shit, you know. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that Admiral Nelson cherry spiced rum has a really nice cherry taste to it. Um, I like it anyways. It might remind some of you of cherry cough syrup, but some of you might get that impression. Me, it just tastes like cherry spiced rum. <laughs> oh yeah, ACDC, have a drink on me. Just saying. Mm. Oh. Now, my family is going out of town for Thanksgiving. They'll be going to an indoor water park. And if I didn't have to work early Sunday morning, I'd be joining them at that water park. 
Which, yeah, that does kind of suck, but, you know, that's a part of being an adult. You got to have responsibilities. Which, yeah, it sucks, but at the same time, you know, I'll see my family when they get back. And, um, uh, I love my job, YouTube, for the record, okay? You're not gonna hear, people have their speculations on where I work, but, you know, I, I love my job, plain and simple. It's like the best job I've ever had. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not going to drink this entire bottle in one sitting. I'll probably save a little bit for tomorrow. Mm. Man, the relight on this cigar is exquisite. I know the rock... Okay, I know for a fact that the rock and roll gods, the rock and roll gods have taken Malcolm Young to the other side. And he's smiling down on all his fans and his family. Fuck the haters talking shit. Like, straight up. A lot of people want to start YouTube, but then they see what I go through on a daily basis. Damn. Last time I checked my subscription count, I had like 6,194 subscribers. And then now I got like 6,200 subscribers. Damn. Your boy King Cobra getting super famous on YouTube, man. People are like, hey, this guy. I was going to get Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, but this oof, this bottle is cheaper and it has more liquor in it. Not only is this bottle a little bit cheaper, it has more liquor in it, but the bottle is plastic, so it's shatterproof. Good cigars, good rum. Yep. Nope. Oops. I knocked my Zippo off the desk. Ugh. I'm already starting to feel just a little bit, just very little bit. Yeah, just a, yeah. I'm starting to feel that rum take effect. It's not really hitting me super hard, but it's definitely getting my attention like, hey, like, hey, you know what I'm saying, YouTube. <coughs> Ugh. Well, anyways,
This here is uh, King Cobra JFS with another video. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, before I go, I want to say thank you to every one of you who subscribed to my channel. It means a lot. It shows these fucking haters that talk shit on me. Hey, I make a difference, damn it. But yeah, if you like my videos, you like my guitar playing, subscribe for more awesome content. And, um... Yeah, that'll, um, of course, when you're drinking on an empty stomach, it's going to hit you a little bit harder. I mean, I got food. It's just, I'm not hungry at the moment. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later.